Welcome back to DM Academy. Okay, let's have another problem for the higher order differentiation. Okay, let us solve the fourth derivative of the given function y is equal to 3e raised to 4x. Okay, so this is exp exponential function. Okay, so the first derivative is denoted by dy over dx. And this is equal to the d over dx of the given function 3e raised to 4x. Okay, and this is equal to, let us factor out first the constant. It is 3 d over dx of e raised to 4x. Okay, so we have the dy over dx is equal to using chain rule. That is d over du of e raised to u multiplied by the d over dx of 4x. Okay, and this is equal to 3 multiplied by the derivative of e raised to u is still e raised to u. Then the derivative of 4x is 4. And this is equal to... 12e raised to u. Okay, so therefore, the first differentiation, dy over dx, is equal to 12e raised to 4x. This is the first differentiation. Okay, next, the second differentiation, we have um, d over dx of the first differentiation, dy over dx, and this is equal to the d over dx of 12e raised to 4x. Okay, so this is the second differentiation, d square y over dx square is equal to, factor out first the constant, that is 12, then using the chain rule that is d over du of e raised to u. Then d over dx of 4x. Okay, we have now 12. Derivative of e raised to u is e raised to u. Then derivative of 4x is still 4. And this is equal to 12 times e raised to u times 4. That is 48 e raised to u. Okay, so our second differentiation, where the second derivative of the given function is equal to 48e raised to 4x. Okay, next is the third of differentiation. It is just the derivative of the second differentiation. And this is equal to 48 multiplied by, I'm sorry, this must be um, the d over dx of 48e raised to 4x. Okay, and this one now will be the third differentiation d cube y over dx cube is equal to 48 times the d over du of e raised to u multiplied by the d over dx of 4x. Okay. That is now um, 48. Derivative of e raised to u is still a raised to u. And Derivative of 4x is 4. Okay, and this is equal to 48 times e raised to u times 4. This is 192e raised to u. So our third derivative is 192e raised to 4x. Okay, and lastly, the fourth derivative, 
fourth derivative is the derivative of the third derivative. Rather, the fourth derivative is the derivative of the third derivative. Okay, that is equal to the d over dx of 192 e raised to 4x. And this is equal to 192 d over du of e raised to u multiplied by the d over dx of 4x. Okay, so fourth derivative is equal to 192 multiplied by the derivative of e raised to u that is still e raised to u. Then multiplied by the derivative of 4x that is 4. Okay, so we have 192 multiplied by e raised to u times 4. This is 768 e raised to u. Okay, so therefore the fourth derivative of the given function is equal to 768 e raised to 4x. Okay, so let's have another problem. Let's try a hyperbolic function. Okay, let us determine the first, the second, and the third derivative of the function y is equal to the hyperbolic sine of 2x squared. Okay, let's find first the first derivative. This is dy over dx. That is the derivative of the hyperbolic sine 2x square. Okay, using the chain rule, we have the dy over dx is equal to the d over du of the hyperbolic sine u multiplied by the d over dx of 2x square. Okay, so we have now the derivative of the hyperbolic sign is hyperbolic cosine u. Then multiplied by the derivative of 2x squared, this is 4x. Okay, and this is equal to 4x hyperbolic cosine of u. And that is dy over dx is equal to 4x hyperbolic cosine of 2x squared. Okay, this is the first derivative. Okay, next. The second derivative. That is the d over dx of dy over dx and that is equal to the d over dx of 4x times the hyperbolic cosine of 2x square okay so let us solve this one we will use the chain rule or the product rule but let us take this first the d over dx of 4x is 4 and the d over dx of hyperbolic cosine of 2x square is equal to 4x hyperbolic sine of 2x square Okay, so the second derivative is equal to, we will use the product rule um, V du plus U D V. We will let U be equal to 4x and we will let V be equal to the hyperbolic cosine of 2x squared. Okay, so we have now 
hyperbolic cosine of 2x squared multiplied by the derivative of u, which is 4, plus v, or u, rather, that is 4x, then multiplied by the derivative of the hyperbolic cosine 2x squared, and that is 4x hyperbolic sine of 2x squared. Okay, so let's have this one, second derivative. is equal to 4 hyperbolic cosine of 2x square plus 16x square hyperbolic sine of 2x square okay for the third derivative that is the d over dx of the d squared y over dx squared. Okay, so we have, let's take the question mark here. Okay, let's try. The d over dx of 4 is this one, this is 0. And the d over dx of the hyperbolic cosine of 2x squared is equal to 4x sine hyperbolic sine of 2x square then the derivative of this one the 16x square is equal to 32x and the derivative of the hyperbolic sine 2x square is equal to this one um, 4x times the hyperbolic cosine of 2x squared okay so let's plug in the third derivative is equal to Okay, so let's have now the d cube over dy, the d cube y over dx cube is now equal to v du, that is this one multiplied by 0, plus 4, that is the v, where u multiplied by the derivative of um, v, that is 4x sine, hyperbolic sine of 2x squared, then plus for this part, we have the hyperbolic sine of 2x squared multiplied by the derivative of 16x squared, that is 32x, plus u, that is 16x squared, multiplied by the derivative of this, that is 4x hyperbolic cosine of 2x squared. Okay, to simplify this one, we have 4 or 16x hyperbolic sine of 2x squared plus 32x, this must be 32x, there must be x here. Hyperbolic sine of 3x squared plus 64x cubed plus hyperbolic cosine of 2x squared. But we may simplify it by this one. We have the d cubed y over dx cubed is equal to 48x hyperbolic sine of 3x squared plus the 64x cubed hyperbolic cosine of 2x squared. Okay, so this is our third derivative. Okay, this is our second derivative. Thank you for watching. Let's have some corrections again. This must be 2. This must be 2. Okay, this must be 2. This must be 2x squared. Thank you.